Amazingly, I've discovered a game that has received little to no video coverage on YouTube as of this writing. Island Peril, released in 1995 by a little upstart company called Atlantean Interactive, and developed by another group called Electric Fantasies, which, given the styling of their logo video, would not surprise me to hear if they also made porn games. As an enthusiast of all things craptacular, I also feel obliged to point out the ridiculous use of lens flare, for no reason whatsoever. The game in question is an FMV-filled shooter feeling somewhat like a cross between Wolfenstein 3D and the tackiest, seediest 80s movie you can find. It always astounds me that the 80s aesthetic held on so long into the 90s, but that's beside the point. Here we have a game that is so ridiculed that the company who made it went under almost immediately after releasing it. The game's Moby score is lingering at 0.3 at the moment, and even enthusiasts of early 90s FMV games have disavowed its existence, which might explain why the only YouTube video of it is of the god-awful introduction video, which, while it doesn't necessarily stack up to the CDI Zelda games in terms of sheer awfulness, it's awful in its own special way. The plot can be explained relatively quickly, but I'd honestly rather settle for the helpful explanation found in the in-game help file, as follows. After seven years in San Quentin prison, the evil boss is out to exact revenge on the DA who put him away. Dick Danger. The evil boss and his gang of dastardly henchmen are hidden out on Morgina Island with the kidnapped sweet young thing, Samantha Smith. The aforementioned sweet young thing appears in cutscenes when you die, spouting off stupid things that sound like the dialogue from a porn movie. Dick. Oh, Dick. I hope you're coming. To get me. After spending about five minutes fumbling about in the game and trying to figure out the controls, then resorting to the thankfully competently written help file, I believe I'm prepared to show you. How bad could it be? Hurry up and get here. I need some target practice. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Whitlaw Hangers, which is the scene presently of Island Peril, first level. I'm goofing around with the mouse look function right now, which stupidly requires you to hold down the left alt key, which makes you take your hands off all of the movement keys. Though I also noticed the right mouse button moves you forward. In order to strafe, you have to hold the right alt key, which forces both your mouse and your arrow keys to strafe around and isn't very fast at all. Interestingly, this game does have jumping and crouching functions, which I've just used to bounce on my ass a little bit. There's my shotgun, and there's the number one foe in this game is the bodybuilders in swim trunks with shotguns. Close range combat is a little bit difficult in this game, as you spend more time trying to figure out where your foe went than you are actually attempting to kill him. Meanwhile, they're just walking circles around you, so they don't pose much threat until they finally decide to start shooting at you. This is my M16, which, in the first-person perspective, doesn't look anything like an M16. It looks like a broom with a jar stuck on the end of it. And it also uses the Doom muzzle, er, it uses the Doom muzzle flashes, which is blatant thievery. Of course, how were they to know that that would be copyright infringement? They're just a stupid game company. Here's the... Thank you for choosing Island Treats. Please make a selection. Irritating blonde chick. Make another selection. I see you still have more coins. Let's buy some shotgun shells then. Make another selection. I... Shut up, bitch. I want to go back to killing. All right. Now that we're done in here, walk through the stupid clip art plants. Take a lift. Hey, there's something over there. Get hung up on the wall. A raincoat worth 200 armor. I don't see how a raincoat would protect you against bullets, but, well, it's their game. Main enemy number two on Island Peril. Nerds in green shirts. Of course, I didn't even realize that those were nerds. I thought they were just anonymous mafiosos in trench coats until I died and one of them started taunting me in one of the cutscene videos. Something about me being too big of a stud and how I'm not supposed to get chicks so easily. This demonstrates that the game has no auto-aim whatsoever, and with no crosshair to assist you in aiming, you'll be flailing your mouse around rapidly trying to hit the guy. 
I suppose I should mention that while you're holding down the mouse look key, the mouse moves twice as fast as it would normally, making it a chore to aim. Unless you've got a mouse with adjustable sensitivity like mine, and even then that hardly works. Just jumped up the crates to get the red key, but if I were paying attention I would have found this anonymously hidden lift. And here we are going into a garage full of shotgun shells and sunglasses, which also are worth armor. It is decidedly clear that these men followed the Doom template of games. Right down to the health elixir is worth one point of health. And they also appear to be fizzing out the top. And a warehouse full of crates and office lamps and stuff. Square meals, which recharge your health. And at this point I decide that I would rather not use the aim function of the mouse look because it's just too unwieldy, so I just start jumping the fire. This makes me feel like an idiot, but whatever gets the job done. More bodybuilders in swim trunks. More sunglasses. Getting hung up on more walls. We've got us a rather large courtyard that I can't seem to find my way around for some idiotic reason. There's another one of those shop terminals, but I'm not going to buy anything right now. The blue key door. For some reason, you can't use doors unless you're pressing your face against them. Thankfully, the use key is at least in the same place as it is in other games, otherwise I'd probably never have figured it out. Even after having read the help file. This is a pool of water, which I discovered that you can't dive in, so it serves no purpose other than to get you stuck. More ass bouncing, more running into walls, ass bouncing, and that's not a door. So we start going back the way we came, and you know what, I'm kind of starting to dislike this game now, so I think I've had enough of it. As a footnote, upon looking up a profile on Electric Fantasies, it turns out that much like their publisher Atlantean, they no longer exist, and Island Peril was their only release. Well, it could be worse. They could still be around, making porn games. Dick. Oh, Dick. I hope you're coming. To get me. Yeah, thank God that didn't happen.